Hey gamers, today we're diving into the most exciting part of every gamer's year, the fresh new releases. 2024 has already blessed us with an incredible lineup of games. And in this video, we're counting down the top 50 new games of 2024 you can play right now. Whether you're into action-packed adventures, immersive RPGs, or heart-pounding thrillers, there's something for everyone in this list. So, the first game of Helldivers 2. It's the sequel to the successful cooperative shooter, offering hardcore shootouts against superior forces of alien enemies. Helldivers 2 events will unfold in various corners of deep space, and gamers can rely only on reliable weapons and the shoulder of a partner who will cover and support in difficult moments. Not a lot, but enough to liberate the galaxy. Tekken 8. In the new installment of the Tekken series, we will be provided with an impressive roster of fighters, a complex and intricate story campaign, a well-developed multiplayer, a combat system with a range of useful innovations, and the ability to create your own character to explore the multifaceted world of the franchise. Grand Blue Fantasy Reling. This is a new role-playing adventure where players will form a team of adventurers and embark on a journey through a colorful anime-style world. The game's action will unfold in the celestial realm, and heroes will explore islands hanging in the sky, encountering many exciting events. Thanks to cooperative play, the squad can consist of real players, each of whom will undoubtedly leave their mark with their own play style and perspective on the events. Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth, a sequel to the Yakuza series. The game's story will develop through both the current protagonist, Ichiban Kasuga, and the familiar character, Kazuma Kiryu. Ichiban sets off on a journey to Hawaii to find his mother, from whom he was separated in childhood. Unexpectedly, Dragon Dojima learns that he has been diagnosed with cancer. In his allotted time, Kiryu wants to atone for his past and all the crimes he committed as a Yakuza member. Developers promise an intense plot, numerous side activities, and an exciting combat system that allows using the environment to defeat enemies. Banishers Ghosts of New Eden A new action-slash-RPG from the creators of Life is Strange and Vampir promises an ambitious story about Antia and Red, a pair of ghost hunters, one of whom becomes a ghost. Now the heroes must find a way to rectify the situation, but first, they must exploit it by combining Antia's newfound spiritual powers and Red's deadly arsenal. And remember, every choice will have consequences. Dragon's Dogma 2 The sequel to the successful action RPG from Capcom maintains the pawn system, allowing players to hire AI-controlled companions to accompany the protagonist on their journey. It's a vast open world with an unusual array of monsters, a class system with deep leveling and subclass exploration mechanics, as well as numerous interesting quests and memorable characters. Hades 2, the first sequel in the history of Supergiant Games, following the highly acclaimed Hades that won numerous awards, including Game of the Year. For this reason, expectations for the second part are very high among those who played the original. The sequel's main protagonist will be the nymph Melano, tasked with stopping the Titan Cronus. In Expeditions, a mudrunner game, players will control off-road vehicles and travel the world, venturing into inaccessible places where exciting discoveries await. In addition to off-road driving, a portion of the gameplay will focus on building a base, researching technologies, and crafting gadgets to aid explorers in their challenging endeavors. Outcast 2, a new beginning. This is the sequel to the award-winning adventure action game from 1999, a journey into an unknown world once again facing danger. Playing as a former Alukai, players will take off on a jetpack, create unique weapon builds, and battle robot invaders to free the race of peaceful talents. The First Descendant 
a loot shooter on Unreal Engine 5 with single and cooperative missions, intense boss fights, and cutting-edge visuals. The game's action unfolds in a fantastical world and players will have access to various characters with different combat styles. Alone in the Dark This is a reimagining of the original game where players will visit a cursed mansion to confront horrifying nightmares. The title combines puzzles and battles, psychological horror, and third-person shooter elements with two active characters. The project's script is written by Michael Hedberg, the writer of horror games Soma and Amnesia. The development studio, Pieces Interactive, previously released expansions Ragnarok and Atlantis for Titan Quest. Then Shrouded. This game is a hybrid of a role-playing game and a survival game, combining elements of exploration, construction, and combat in a fantastical world. The game, which is currently in early access, has attracted a lot of attention due to its rich mechanics and engaging gameplay. The map for exploration is huge, and it will double in size upon the game's release. You can build using individual small blocks or entire elements. The game features a wide variety of resources for crafting building blocks, so there will be plenty to choose from. For those who love building castles and other incredible structures, this game will be one of the best. The survival process is reminiscent of Valheim. The game offers a variety of foods, grains and plant crops, meat and water. Depending on the class you choose, you will need to consume the appropriate type of food. In the later stages of development, you can prepare combined dishes. The combat system is also interesting, featuring dodges, parries, shield breaking, and other mechanics. The variety of enemies keeps you on your toes, and you need to adapt your style for each opponent. Additionally, there is extensive character progression with a branching system, and you can play in co-op mode with up to 16 people. Robin Hood Sherwood Builders This is a game about Robin Hood with a third-person view and an open world. The game combines elements of role-playing, survival, and city-building. The action takes place in medieval England, where players assume the role of the famous outlaw. The main goal is to protect the oppressed and fight against injustice by raiding the rich and helping the poor. Players will explore a world with diverse territories, level up their characters, and build and develop their settlements. The game features a deep construction system, allowing players to build and upgrade camps, construct defensive structures, and manage resources. You also need to help the poor by providing them with shelter in your village and taking care of their needs such as food and housing. Successful camp and resource management directly impacts your ability to withstand enemies. Overall, the game is very engaging, reminiscent of Medieval Dynasty, but with its own unique features. The combat system includes archery, melee combat, and the use of various traps. The enemies are diverse, ranging from simple soldiers to elite knights, each requiring a specific approach. Bellright is a medieval action survival game where a brave knight is falsely accused of murdering the king's son and sentenced to death. After escaping to distant lands, he leads a rebellion to free his homeland from tyrannical rule. Players must complete quests for local villagers to earn their loyalty, conduct combat operations against the royal guard, and engage in horseback battles. Ultimately, you will become the leader of the rebellion and build new cities. The cooperative gameplay allows up to four players to explore the harsh world, gather resources, fight the royal guard, and recruit peasants into their own army. Friends will manage cities by constructing and upgrading outposts, training commoners in various crafts, and assigning tasks to residents. Special attention should be given to training soldiers who will become archers, knights, halberdiers, and more. Myth of Empires is a multiplayer sandbox game with survival elements set in a historical setting where players explore a beautiful yet dangerous world. The problem is that the world is engulfed in war, so travelers must become knights and join forces with friends to build a new empire. Players will need to construct fortresses, gather armies, and emerge victorious in the war. The competitive gameplay features the ability to create your own guild and form alliances with other guilds. Factions can wage war against each other, capture fortresses, burn crop fields, and raid caravans. Each member of an alliance can achieve ranks of nobility and develop their characters, eventually earning the right to hold the highest positions in medieval society.
Abiotic Factor is a sci-fi survival game for six players with RPG elements, where scientists create unique devices and weapons to protect themselves from monsters. Players will explore various levels of a scientific complex, solving complex puzzles that require multiple conditions to be met. To open locked doors, you will have to crawl through ventilation shafts, find necessary items, craft workbenches, repair generators, and even lay temporary electrical circuits. The challenge lies in the dangerous monsters inhabiting all buildings of the scientific complex. Nightingale is an atmospheric open-world survival game where players take on the role of a realm walker, passing through mystical portals in search of humanity's last sanctuary. Finding the human world is very challenging, as travelers must first face nightmarish monsters, wandering zombies, and giant spiders. The human city serves as a base, and the journey through a web of fantastical worlds is necessary to gather essential resources and study new technologies. In co-op mode, for heroes hack their way through jungles, mine or research technologies, craft weapons, prepare food, build settlements, and even use magic. All worlds are randomly generated, and players can share their favorite maps with the community. Tinkerlands, a shipwrecked adventure, is a free survival game reminiscent of Terraria and Forager. The pixel graphics are stunning, and the vast world, consisting of various islands, is filled with all kinds of content. Simply put, the game captivates with its possibilities and diverse content. Try to survive by building a base on different islands, each being a unique biome. You will encounter various mysteries and well-designed bosses along the way. Soul Mass survival game set in a primeval land. The gameplay combines exploring the remnants of ruined civilizations and challenging survival. Abandoned ruins are guarded by colossal beast guardians blocking the path to knowledge. Survivors must adapt to local conditions, learn to build shelters in hard-to-reach places, secure their homes with traps, and create primitive weapons necessary for navigating the world. The multiplayer mode supports up to 70 players who must compete for resources and technologies or else remain wild barbarians. Players can form tribes and even create families, jointly build villages, hunt, and farm. In a separate PvP mode, players can choose to be savages or marauders, then either capture or defend villages from being pillaged. Eska, game set in the Viking world, where players must create their own tribe and struggle for survival. The game involves crafting, resource gathering, building settlements, battling enemies, and surviving harsh winters. Players can manage a colony, attract new inhabitants, build ships, explore new lands, and fight mythical creatures. NPCs will assist with routine tasks. They can be assigned specific duties such as resource gathering, vegetable farming, beekeeping, and more. Over time, they will develop and perform more complex tasks. The game supports co-op play for up to four players. Reyes 2. It's a god simulation game where players control giant beings, shaping planets and guiding humanity at their own pace without a timer. Their actions will direct and inspire humanity. Leaders, inventions, buildings, and paths of development all depend on the player's choices. As humanity evolves, Players will decide whether to support their aspirations or create challenges. If unsatisfied with the outcome, they can always start anew with a new humanity. Men of War 2. This game focuses on World War II events and offers deep, engaging gameplay that requires attentiveness, quick decision-making, and knowledge of each unit's specifics. The game features large-scale real-time battles, requiring micromanagement and understanding of unit strengths and weaknesses. The complex resource management system includes command and logistics points for calling reinforcements. Infantry plays a key role, performing tasks from holding positions to using vehicles and conducting diversions. The variety of infantry units is impressive. Riflemen, automatic riflemen, scouts, snipers, and engineers. Managing motorized troops requires skill. Vehicles are divided into wheeled and tracked, with the possibility of direct control. Aviation includes reconnaissance and attack aircraft, performing various attacks and requiring air defense protection. The game includes single-player campaigns and multiplayer modes.
Fable Dawn is a charming city-building simulator set in a fantasy world where players create and manage their own kingdom. The game impresses with its fairy tale atmosphere and picturesque graphics. Players will engage in building construction, resource gathering, and resident management. An interesting feature is the ability to interact with various characters, including romantic relationships. The game includes magical elements and mythical creatures, adding uniqueness and charm. Managing the economy, developing infrastructure, and exploring the surrounding world create a diverse and deep gameplay experience. Fabledom also offers storylines and quests that help reveal the world's history and its inhabitants. As they gradually develop their kingdom, players face various challenges and make strategic decisions that affect further development. The game is perfect for those who love relaxing and colorful strategies with elements of fairy tales and magic. Otsparks. This adventure game is perfect for fans of Factorio. The main character lives in a fairy tale village where the residents constantly need help. Surrounding the town are numerous procedurally generated locations with ancient ruins. These ruins contain blueprints for factories that will process resources into building materials, tools, and modules. Player's task is to restore and establish a steady flow of production. You will also explore procedurally generated landscapes, where you will encounter various types of flora and fauna, as well as ancient ruins that hold secrets. You can play this game alone or with friends online. Bulwark Falconer Chronicles This city-building simulator, inspired by Townscaper, offers players a new experience in creating and managing settlements on rocky outcrops in the middle of the ocean. The main elements of the game include constructing outposts, connecting them with bridges, and managing an expanding supply network. Visually, the game impresses with its views and atmosphere, and the construction process is particularly enjoyable as you watch workers create various structures. However, Bulwark suffers from a lack of depth in combat mechanics and economics, limiting its long-term appeal. Periodic attacks by pirates and rival factions do not require significant effort, allowing players to relax and enjoy the building process. Necrosmith 2. This is the sequel to the Necromancer Simulator where players assemble an army of zombies from various body parts. The main goal is to explore territories, create, and upgrade a base. The game offers many mechanics, including resource management and tactical battles. With each passing day, enemies become stronger, requiring careful planning and resource management. However, the poorly developed AI of the minions often hinders progress, and the random drop of blueprints can significantly complicate the gameplay. Even the most powerful fighters, such as Titans, lose their effectiveness at higher levels. The game's graphics are pleasant, but the interface leaves much to be desired. Dice Kingdoms is a turn-based strategy game in the spirit of classic dice games, where players take turns rolling dice and taking actions based on the results. Players need to develop their kingdom and avoid post-apocalyptic scenarios. The game provides an island in the middle of the ocean, where players develop their state through science, culture, and the construction of wonders that bring them closer to victory by points. Managers can plan city districts, build specialized structures, and undertake technological projects, such as flood dams or defensive walls against barbarian raids. Sons of Valhalla is a pixel action game with strategy and RPG elements. Inspired by Norse mythology, players take on the role of a Viking seeking revenge for the destruction of his home and the abduction of his beloved. The main gameplay elements include building settlements, managing resources, and engaging in combat against enemies. The game stands out for its dynamic combat and deep strategic elements, requiring effective management of troops and defensive structures. Every choice the player makes affects the development of the settlement and the outcome of battles. Millennia is a strategy game with deep and thoughtful civilization management mechanics. In the game, you can build and develop your empires, starting from ancient times and reaching futuristic eras. The game features a complex diplomacy and warfare system. The graphics are high quality, 
creating an immersive atmosphere across different historical periods. Visual effects and attention to detail help convey the scale and significance of every action. The game also offers rich content, including various missions and tasks that make the gameplay engaging and long-lasting. One of the game's strengths is its multiplayer mode, allowing you to compete with players from around the world. Synergy. In this game, you can develop your state, adapting to technological innovations and environmental changes. You'll explore the world, send expeditions beyond the settlement, and discover new technologies. Regarding city-building mechanics, the settlement in the game is divided into nine districts, each with its bonuses, and the efficient placement of buildings can significantly enhance your city's productivity. Godsworn offers a fresh take on the RTS genre by combining elements of Warcraft 3 and Age of Mythology. The gameplay is inspired by Warcraft 3, providing players with a choice of gods who act as heroes with unique abilities that level up over the course of the game. Each god is a unique unit with specific abilities, categorized into tanks, healers, and damage dealers. The game also incorporates elements from Age of Mythology, including four resources to gather, the economy and resource management add depth to the gameplay. Automatic production and worker management significantly ease the gameplay process. Lacera Summit Kingdom. In this game, you create and manage settlements on a massive mountain. The gameplay involves constructing various districts on the mountain slopes, with special attention to the transportation of goods and optimal placement of buildings for settlement development. The game includes an element of automation, simplifying the gameplay and allowing players to focus on strategy. Developing infrastructure and ensuring the well-being of your people is challenging due to the harsh environment, where growing crops is difficult and navigating treacherous paths is dangerous. Additionally, there is always the risk of avalanches, which are unpredictable and unavoidable. Manor Lords is a medieval city-building simulator with real-time strategy elements. Players have complete freedom in placing buildings and developing settlements, starting from a small camp. A crucial aspect of the game is the interconnectedness of elements. Producing bread requires completing all stages from growing wheat to baking. Resource and population management play a vital role. Players must monitor the spirituality, health, and needs of their settlers, providing them with food and materials. Winter requires stockpiling resources, and trade routes and relationships with neighbors impact development. The economy is complex but well thought out, requiring constant attention to production and trade. Lie Your Frontier. This is a game centered around farming, production, resource management, and construction set in an open world. Here, you'll build your farm anywhere you like and customize it to your taste. With a vast array of construction and decoration tools, you can create the exafarm of your dreams. You can modify machinery and tame various types of wild animals using an advanced breeding and genetic system. Additionally, you have the opportunity to breed and cultivate various exotic plants to secure essential resources and adopt an eco-friendly lifestyle. Biomorph. Here, you'll explore a non-linear world full of secrets and upgrades, interact with various characters, and battle diverse enemies, including bosses. Your base is a city that you must gradually rebuild and improve. The game's uniqueness lies in the ability to transform into defeated enemies and use their abilities in both combat and exploration. Additionally, creatures you've transformed into will evolve and gain new powers, making the game more challenging and interesting during repeated playthroughs of locations. Rotwood. This is a cooperative slasher with roguelike elements, challenging players with its difficulty and unpredictability. You find yourself in a dark and dangerous world where a rotting forest spreads its corruption, oppressing all living things. You must team up with other players to survive and find a way to cleanse the forest of evil. Combat involves facing hordes of enemies using various weapons and abilities. You'll also explore a labyrinth of thickets, caves, and ruins in search of treasures, with the forest being randomly generated each time. 
Your base is your only refuge in this world where you can rest, replenish supplies, create new equipment, or upgrade existing ones. You can also fortify your shelter to defend it against enemy attacks. Morbid The Lords of Ire. This is a Souls-like game set in the horror punk universe. The new project is presented in full 3D rather than isometric. Developers have taken unique ideas from the first part, such as the sanity system, and offer a fresh perspective on them. The game features five diverse worlds to explore and battle against evil. There is a wide variety of weapons, runes, and blessings in the game, allowing players to develop a unique combat style. Persona 3 Reload is a reimagined version of the cult classic Persona 3, originally released in 2006. The remake offers enhanced graphics and updated gameplay while preserving the captivating storyline. The gameplay has become more modern and engaging, allowing for free movement around the city and the establishment of social bonds with characters. Social interactions remain a crucial part of the game. The remake also includes graphical improvements, making the game more visually appealing. The combat system has undergone changes, becoming more spectacular with the addition of new elements to enhance the gaming experience. While Tartarus hasn't undergone radical changes, it has become more visually pleasing. The game does not alter the original plot or gameplay, but provides an opportunity for new players to immerse themselves in a classic JRPG with improved visuals. Overall, it's an excellent opportunity to revisit the third installment of the renowned series. Mamadora Moonlit Farewell is an excellent and entertaining Metroidvania platformer with stunning graphics and memorable music serving as the final installment in the Mamadora series. The game features diverse levels filled with platforms, traps, and enemies. Players control Momo, who can use her bow and sword to battle enemies, dodge attacks, and counter at the right moments. Along your journey, you'll encounter not only regular demons, but also giant bosses that will require special skill and strategy. You can also discover special seals that enhance your abilities, allowing you to adapt your combat style to your gameplay. While this installment may not be very lengthy, as it can be completed in around four hours, it remains a wonderful example of a solid Metroidvania with an engaging storyline that will stay in my memory. Terminator Dark Fate Defiance is a real-time strategy game based on the Terminator film franchise. In the single-player campaign, players take on the role of the commander of the Founder's faction attempting to thwart the Legion's plan to destroy the last remnants of humanity. In the multiplayer modes, players have the opportunity to play as three different factions, Founders, Legion, and Resistance. Tactical decision-making and the use of various vehicles and infantry are crucial during battles. It's worth noting that the game is named Dark Fate, but it closely resembles the future war universe from Terminator 2, surpassing the film's world in terms of depth, immersion, and authenticity. This game stands out as one of the best Terminator games to date, and I recommend it to all fans of the franchise. Deep Rock Galactic Survivor follows in the footsteps of the original game, casting players as brave dwarves who descend into the depths of a planet to complete missions consisting of multiple stages with the primary goal of mining various minerals. Of course, this endeavor involves annihilating bugs, upgrading the character and weapons using experience points and gold. Each run concludes with a battle against a boss. For every successful mission, players receive rewards that allow them to unlock equipment upgrades and venture into progressively deeper and more perilous caves for even more generous rewards. Starting from the upper tunnels, you delve deeper underground, battling hordes of alien creatures, risking life for precious resources, and growing stronger with each mission. Pacific Drive in this game, you take on the role of a station wagon driver trying to survive in a place where strange and dangerous phenomena occur. You must explore the abandoned continent, gather resources, and upgrade your vehicle. Keep an eye on fuel levels, repair damaged parts, and install new components and protective panels. This peninsula was the site of secret experiments that left behind numerous mysteries and anomalies. You can attempt to unravel their secrets or simply collect valuable resources. But be cautious, the zone has a life of its own and constantly changes. As you progress, you will encounter paranormal phenomena that can either help or hinder you.
Alan Wake 2. Once upon a time, Alan Wake became a cult game, and fans had been asking developers for a sequel for many years. The wait, lasting over a decade, was worth it. Alan Wake 2 is a horror game that immerses players into the mysterious world of the famous writer Alan Wake, who has disappeared in a creepy town. Authors offer gamers to play as an FBI agent named and as Alan himself. The protagonist's storylines will run parallel, allowing users to enjoy the story of each character. The plot keeps you on edge and won't let you relax until the very end. This adventure is sure to be memorable as the game has received numerous enthusiastic reviews from players and critics alike, as well as a nomination for Game of the Year. Rise of the Ronin This is an exclusive for PlayStation 5. Rise of the Ronin was developed by Team Ninja veterans who gave us relentless combat mechanics in Nio and Ninja Gaiden. The action of Rise of the Ronin takes place in 19th century Japan and is an open-world game with dynamic katana combat. In terms of the plot, we are to participate in a rebellion and fight for independence. The developers note that they tried to bring the game closer to historical events, implement realistic architecture, and gameplay. Despite some repetitive open-world activities and undercooked stealth mechanics, Rise of the Ronin excels in character development and historical storytelling. Its flaws are outweighed by its strengths, making it a journey worth undertaking for fans of samurai tales and intricate combat systems. Still Wakes the Deep is an atmospheric walking simulator with survival and horror elements. The game transports players to an offshore oil rig in the middle of the ocean, where the protagonist finds themselves amidst a terrifying, unexplained horror. The storyline revolves around the sudden invasion of mystical creatures on the platform, forcing the hero to evade monsters and overcome numerous obstacles in a desperate attempt to survive and escape. Gameplay mechanics focus on typical survival elements, such as repairing equipment and hiding from enemies, which have received mixed reviews. While moments of parkour and acrobatics add dynamism, the overall mission structure and puzzles feel somewhat monotonous and predictable. Hellblade 2. Senua embarks on an even more perilous journey, haunted by new enemies and inner demons. The game's visual aspect is top-notch, featuring detailed landscapes and eerie dungeons that immerse players in a harsh land filled with despair and fear. The dynamic day and night cycles, realistic weather effects, and impressive lighting breathe life into the world, making it both vibrant and terrifying. Senua continues to struggle with the voices in her head, now even more intense and unsettling, reflecting her deep internal torment. The combat system has been significantly enhanced, promising a richer and more strategic gameplay experience. No Rest for the Wicked is a dark action RPG from the creators of Ori and the Will of the Wisps, showcasing a stark departure from their previous work. This game plunges players into brutal and intense battles where they can feel the weight and inertia of every weapon in their hands. Players can create unique character builds, enchant their gear, and engage in optional activities. The title delights gamers with its intuitive combat system, well-designed, powerful enemies, and combo mechanics that allow for varied battle outcomes. The expansive world is fascinating to explore, with each location meticulously crafted as if hand-painted. Some areas are cleverly hidden, but smart level design ensures players can find their way. Water and fog effects are particularly impressive, reacting dynamically to the character's movements and attacks. Shin Megami Tensei V Vengeance is a remastered edition of the beloved RPG that preserves all the elements that have become the series' trademarks while adding new facets to the gameplay and narrative. The game sets players in a post-apocalyptic Tokyo where the world of demons intertwines with reality. Players explore ruined landscapes, interact with various demons, and determine the world's fate by choosing between chaos and order. The remaster introduces enhanced graphics and sound, making the experience even more immersive and captivating. The combat system remains true to the series' roots with tactical turn-based battles and deep demon fusion mechanics, pleasing both longtime fans and newcomers. Killer Clowns from Outer Space 
is a cooperative multiplayer action game inspired by the cult 1988 horror film. Players can take on the roles of either creepy alien clowns or the town's residents trying to escape these menacing creatures. The game features a unique asymmetric mechanic. The clowns band together, utilizing various absurd and terrifying gadgets to capture humans, while survivors attempt to avoid becoming victims of this circus horror. The atmosphere perfectly captures the spirit of the original movie, blending dark humor with horror elements to create a thrilling and unique experience. That's it. Image Game Channel has been with you. Have a nice day.